What up, Interverse? Josh here from Polymathics, the YouTube channel that helps you become a modern day renaissance man. And today we're here talking about the hero's journey, also known as the monomyth. Now, the reason why I decided to do this video is because many people are not aware of what the hero's journey or the monomyth is. You may not even be aware. And if that's the case, that's a good thing because today I'm going to tell you what it is and the reason why it's so important is because people go through daily life and they have no idea of the heavy influence that the hero's journey and the monomyth has had throughout history and throughout our culture and our society and the effects that it has on our, our psyche every single day as we go through our lives. So because of that, like I said, I decided to do this video, but today's just going to be a brief overview. There's no way I can cover everything that's involved that encompasses the monomyth today. So what I intend on doing is doing a whole series on the monomyth, breaking it down into very like advanced videos talking about all different in-depth kind of subjects. But today, what are some things in everyday life that you could use it for? Why is it important to you now? So now that you have an idea of what we're talking about, let's just jump right into topic number one, which is everyday uses for the monomyth. I'm not going to go over all of them. I'm going to go over the basics and then kind of allude to some things that I'd like to talk about in future videos. So I think it's obvious by now that anybody who is a storyteller can benefit from studying the monomyth. And when I say storyteller, I mean this very loosely. I'm being very liberal about this. This could be the mother who tells her children stories at night to kind of you know get their minds thinking and their creativity thinking or it could be a songwriter it could be a poet of course it could be a novelist or a short story writer but it could also be someone who has to give speeches to small or large audiences and the recommendation here isn't to use an 18 act structure when you're giving a five minute speech but if you have to tell a story, which most good speakers do, then what you'll want to use are archetypes and easily identifiable situations where as soon as you mention two trolls standing at a bridge, the subconscious identifies them as threshold guardians. And they already know without very, with very little cue or with very few cues, they already understand what the situation entails and what is trying what is at stake and then um, so speaking and then the other thing and I'll leave you with this my ideas on where the monomyth is really could be used well it can also be used great for identifying gaps in stories and, and movies and things like that but if my channel this channel as I said in the beginning is all about becoming a modern-day renaissance man a polymath reaching your full potential and the monomyth is a great template to take a look at your previous experiences and look at the the hero's journeys that you yourself have already gone on in the story of your own life and identify what lessons you've already learned but not only that going forward to be able to use a similar template to where if you know that you know you're either being called on an adventure right now or you plan on going on an adventure that there's sort of a template that gives you an idea of what to expect and what you need for example many 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 people who give advice on business who give advice on starting um, your own business and, and doing anything one of the first things they'll tell you is find a mentor and one of the first steps in the monomyth is that the hero finds a mentor the other thing is facing obstacles right and throughout the hero's journey a hero must face appropriate obstacles that will teach them the lessons that they'll need to bring back to the real world to share with the rest of the of the tribe and i believe that if you look at it from a very um figurative point of view that the hero's journey can be used 
uh, as a method of teaching yourself new things and coming to new enlightenment. And so let me give you an example because that may sound like kind of woo woo or out there. Let me give you an example so it's tangible and you can understand. Something that I relate with is when I was a young kid and there are several teenagers out there right now every single day that are going through this that they decide to accept the call to adventure and they join the military and they're taking they're taken out of their normal world and they're thrown into this special world with new rules and new regulations and new and several challenges and obstacles that they have to face and through that they sharpen their abilities and their their tools that they can use and they learn lessons that whether they serve two years or 20 years at some point they can take those lessons back into the world the the ordinary world in which they came and use them and share them with their friends their families their colleagues to make the world better and to be a more fully realized and actualized person so that's what I mean that's that's my point for point number three there's a lot of real-world application that the monomyth has but it's been 17 minutes I think I've spoken enough if you're still with me and you and, and you think that this topic is interesting if, it, if you think it's gonna be valuable then please first of all give me a like but secondly, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because what's going to happen is as I do more videos on in-depth advanced parts of the monomyth, they're going to come right to your, your YouTube and you'll be notified right away. So anyways, hope that this was helpful. Hope that it kind of gave you a good insight and overview into what the hero's journey is all about. And... I hope to see you later, but until next time, take it easy.